Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. See if you can make your mind steady right here. You look at the world outside, just the weather is very erratic today. The world is erratic. And as the Buddha said, if you're going to find any happiness, it has to be in peace. In fact, he says there is really no true happiness aside from peace. Here we're talking about the peace where mind can settle down and realize it doesn't have to move. All too often we're being pushed out. We settle in some place and it's like we're being evicted. And so we look at the pleasures of the world, and they're not all that much, but then we try to embroider them into something that makes it seem worthwhile to go after them. We embroider them beforehand, we embroider them behind, afterwards. But the actual sensation of the pleasures is very fleeting. So you want to find something that's more solid, that you don't have to embroider, that just is happiness that is there in the mind when it can settle down. So the breath is always here. It does change. It comes in and goes out and has different qualities. But you can take it as an object where you can stay. Give yourself a good place to stay. Choose any one spot where you sense the breath coming in and going out, and then see if you can maintain your awareness right there and make the breath comfortable. In John Lee's images of a post by the edge of a sea. The sea rises, but the post doesn't rise. The sea falls down. The post doesn't, doesn't go down with the sea. And because it's buried deep, it doesn't get moved around by the waves. So you want your sense of well-being to be buried deep in the body. So as you breathe in, think of the breath going all the way down to your toes, throughout the whole body. We all want peace. But as I said, you look at the world, all you see is things being erratic and very changeable. You've got to look inside, because that's the source of peace inside. Peace outside has to come from within. And the world changes on its own, but human beings get involved with it, and they can create a lot of suffering for themselves, not only over the way the world changes, but the way they change. So at the very least, you can try to find a part of the mind that doesn't change, that's solidly there, aware, still, right here in the present moment. Make that your foundation, so even though the world is changing around you, you're standing on something solid. Try to maintain that sense of foundation inside through all your activities. You'll find some peace inside, and that peace will radiate out through your thoughts and your words and your deeds. And who knows, maybe someone else may pick up on it and create some peace within themselves as well. This is how real goodness spreads around. It passes from one person to the next to the next, like the light of a candle. Your candle is lit, somebody else's candle, they come along, they light their candle by your flame. And it doesn't diminish your flame at all. And the whole world gets brighter that way. 